I want to talk about the future of TMS, but before that, let's take a, a look back. TMS was actually started, discovered in uh, 1985 by Anthony Baker, and it was first approved by the FDA for the treatment of treatment-resistant depression in, in the United States uh, in 2008. And what TMS does is it stimulates certain parts of the left prefrontal cortex. Magnets are used, and they're pulsed on and off very close to your skull. The pulsing of the magnet results in an electrical signal being sent through your skull and into the very surface of your brain. There are different protocols that are used in order to treat depression. The protocols vary depending on the location in the brain that we're stimulating, and then the energy that we're using, and the um, frequency with which we're turning the magnets on and off, as well as how long that is lasting, the stimulation is lasting, and how long the rest is between these stimulations. The FDA has approved a certain protocol for three conditions in the United States. There's uh, treatment-resistant depression, there's obsessive-compulsive disorder, and there's smoking cessation. There's a lot of labs that are out there that are studying different locations and protocols to treat lots of other conditions. One of the recent studies involved what's called the SAINT protocol. That's the Stanford Accelerated Intelligent Neuromodulation Therapy. But what they did is they turned our usual eight, nine-week course of TMS into a one-week course of TMS. It hasn't been approved by the FDA at this point, but patients were having a full day of TMS where they would receive 10 minutes of stimulation with a 50-minute rest, and they would have nine of these sessions every day for a week. And they uh, got amazing results with patients who were really, really uh, very sick, very, very depressed. The TMS machine that I use, Brainsway, they're actually developing a helmet that has magnets located throughout the helmet that we put on, and this is going to allow us to treat in any number of different locations for different uh, illnesses. And there's treatments for not just psychiatric illnesses, but they're showing it to be effective in things like pain, uh, schizophrenia, um, postpartum depression, ADHD, migraines, dementia. So in the near future, neuromodulation with TMS is going to be something that we can do for lots of medical conditions. <laughs>